Hello again, and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely Thursday evening. Yes, we are almost there. The weekend is almost here. One second. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yes. So I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I hope you guys are rocking it out, whatever you're doing. Um, I hope you're ready for the weekend because like I said, it's almost here. Super exciting. Um, quick update before we get into it. I wanted to let you know that this month only, um, when you enroll with 150 PV order or more, um, doTERRA will give you $50 in free product points. So that's yeah, rocking and rolling. If you want some free products, free money back from doTERRA, now is the time to get rolling. And uh, if you're interested, drop me a comment, send me a message, and uh, I'll definitely get you started. We'll get you some free stuff. I love free stuff. I don't know if you do, but <laughs> free stuff is what gets me going. Um, cool. So mm, that's all I got for that. Let's get right into it. What I wanted to talk about is a little bit of something that has been um, brought to my attention. Actually, I've had a few people ask about this. So I wanted to come and give some tips about it and what it is. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Um, it is help with face blemishes, right? The spots that come on our faces that we don't like to see that we have a hard time dealing with and for the most part we do not like at all and when they come we definitely want to get rid of them. Um, so I've had a few people ask me about this so I wanted to come on and give some tips that help me that I use. I know I don't have the clearest best looking skin but I do some stuff that uh, that will help and does help. Uh, Tina actually went to school for um, she's a uh, uh, what the heck is that? A uh, medical esthetician. So she knows all about the skin and all that sorts of stuff. So she taught me some stuff and um, I got some tips that help me. Hopefully they help you too. Let's get right into it. Um, tip number one is to don't touch your face or at the very least try to minimize touching your face. Uh, this is <laughs> this is actually one of the things that mm, for the most part you're going to have to train yourself not to do. Uh, it's very easy. I'm, I'm doing it right now. It's very easy to touch your face. And when, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm one, really one of those people that when you tell me not to do something, I really want to do it. So the fact that I'm telling myself right now not to touch my face, I really want to touch it. So I'm going to touch it just like that, just because I have to. Um, and so that's that's for me. So that's why I say don't you, you want to cut down on touching your face because think about it realistically. How many things in a day does your hands touch? Um, I know especially with this sort of time going on, a lot of people, you know, we're all getting crazy about washing the hands and all sorts of that stuff. And we're actually uh, coming into consideration about, you know, how many surfaces we actually touch on a daily basis, how much stuff our hands actually go through on a daily basis. And when you just do a quick recap of your day, just today, <clears throat> you'll see that there's a whole bunch of things that you touch that you definitely would not put your face on. Uh, never mind, um, would you want to touch your face with that? So with that being said, what you're going to want to do is try to eliminate the amount that you touch your face. Or at the very least, make sure that you wash your hands before you touch your face because there, the, the, your, your face has a very uh, high tendency to absorb, especially, especially men, right, with our beards. The, the, um, the oils from our hands and the dirt from our hands will get absorbed in the beard. Uh, and then if you're not making the conscious effort to get it out, it will definitely, uh, what happens is the oil or the, the dirt gets inside your skin and then that causes oil, oiliness, I guess we'll say. And then that's how you get the, the breakouts, the blemishes, stuff like that. Um, and so <clears throat> that's why we want to el uh, eliminate the amount of times and for how long we're touching our face. And uh, that's, like I said, I'm telling me not to, so I'm touching, obviously. Um, but that's <laughs> that's going to be very beneficial. Uh, another thing you could do more than anything is bring around a hand sanitizer. Um, I know that that's become, you know, the the new sort of normal. Um, <clears throat> but definitely hand sanitizer is going to be your best friend in, in cases where you can't wash your hands. 
because like I mentioned, your hands are probably the dirtiest part of your body, whether you'd like to admit it or not, it is what it is. And um, we don't want to be touching our face with all the dirt that we touch because it's, <clears throat> it's nothing more than think about realistically where you've touched. And if you would not want to put your face right on that surface, then you probably don't want to touch your face with it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. That was actually one of the things, and like I said, I'm I, I'm bad for it. So, I mean, that's one of the things that I had to learn more than anything. You'll have to train yourself uh, to not touch your face. It's, it's actually amazing how much you want to. Um, next tip is to wash regularly. This is goes along with, like I said, um, our hands get very dirty, uh, our face gets very dirty from touching it. So you want to wash your face regularly, definitely once a day, aim for twice a day, right? We wanna do it like we're brushing our teeth. Um, so definitely once a day, but aim for twice a day because when you um, when, when you get the, the breakouts, the blemishes, right? That's when the oil builds up, the dirt builds up in your skin and that's the way that it's trying to push itself out. And it, it, it's, it's just an eyesore. It's your, it's your body's natural detoxing um, det uh, period, I guess, if you will, um, uh, way of detoxifying itself and cleansing itself out. And uh, so that's the way that it forms itself, right? So if you're not washing your face, you're not cleaning out your pores and therefore you're not even allowing uh, healthy bacteria, we'll call it, to get into your skin to help um, uh, clean from an inside out. You're <clears throat> literally just hoping that your body does what it does and cleans itself out. Not that it won't, but you have to understand that in that instance, it's going to take a little bit longer because uh, you're not giving it any help. It would just be like if you're not showering and then wondering why you stink. That's <laughs> It's the same way um, in that aspect. You know, right? Washing your hair. If you don't wash your hair and then you wonder why your hair is all oily, that's a, a good... We're a good place to start right there. So if you're wondering why your skin's all oily and you get the blemishes, you get the, those ugly, nasty uh, spots on your face, you definitely want to, uh, you want to take a look at, in the mirror and, and, and really ask yourself, you know, are you, are you taking the proper, uh, skincare routines, right? Are you taking the proper measures to, uh, give yourself a fighting chance? Or are you just going about your day on a daily basis and really not even throwing water on your face, right? Um, that's, <laughs> that's a big thing right there. It's, it's as easy as just throwing some water on your face. Um, there's all sorts of special, you know, soaps and cleansers that you, that you should be buying. But, you know, if, if you don't ever wash your face and then you're starting right away, uh, an easy place to start is to just throw water on your face and then go that way. Give it, give it a nice little massage that way. Stimulate the blood flow. Ah, my next tip is to manage stress. And I like this one. I'm going to take a sip of water. I like this one because this is a really little known tip. Um, a little known fact, I guess, if you will, is that stress will manifest itself in any sort of way in the body. And it will definitely affect every part of your body. And this is nothing, no, no different than anything else. Um, this, this, when you're stressed out, your body just tends to throw everything that it can at you, right? You start, you start to break out in places that you don't like, right? You start to get gray hairs. You start to sweat a little bit more than you normally do. Um, what you're, you're, you're aggravated and you're, you're, you. Maybe you get more headaches, right? You get, uh, you, cause you got so much going on in your, in your, in your life, in your mind. You get headaches. It, and it, <laughs> stress will manifest itself in any sort of aspect of your life. Um, a little bit of stress is really good for you. And that's positive energy. It's really beneficial. But a lot of stress will take its toll on your body and it will manifest itself into some sort of, uh, uh thing that you don't like that you don't want to portray on the world, right? And and skin blemishes are definitely a part of that. Um, you know, any 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 way that you can manage your stress is going to help all aspects of your life, right? When you're when you're managing stress, you're sleeping better, and when you're sleeping better, you tend to eat better, and when you eat better, you tend to feel better, or you tend to look better. And when you look better, you tend to feel better, right? And then and it's just this this cycle. And uh, so managing your stress is going to be huge, 
huge tip right there. Uh, and that's, that's going to help you sort of in all aspects of your life. And, and it's a great starting point, whatever you can do to manage your stress, little things it, and, and it, it, it'll help it'll little changes that you can make to your life will definitely add up over time. Ah, my next one is to keep hydrated. Definitely want to hydrate yourself. <clears throat> um, our bodies at the base of it are about 60% water. So we need more water in our, in our system than anything else that we take on a daily basis. And let's get real here. For the most part, we are not taking water more than anything else, right? Right off the bat, I can think of we're drinking food or drinking. We're eating food <clears throat> and then we're probably having, you know, coffee right in the morning if we're I'm on day shift this week it's been a rough mornings holy um but that's it right we're we're consuming a lot more stuff than we should be uh than we are water and water is what we need more than anything else so what so we're actually kind of contradicting ourselves in the sense that we <clears throat> should be giving ourselves more water but we tend to not have enough water and that's where again um what what happens in that aspect the reason that your body uh sort of portrays the 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 bumps on your face and stuff like that is because the uh, same way with stress when you're not hydrated when you don't have enough water in your system your body's just trying to grasp at whatever it can and a lot of times it's it it shows itself that you haven't had enough water um by you know, giving your giving you uh, you know spots on your face, uh, not sleeping very well, kind of cranky, really groggy, um, cotton mouth, stuff like that. That's that. These are all signs of de dehydration, and definitely um, a sign that you should look really, really take an inward look. And if you are uh, keeping hydrated enough, you know, if you are doing your part uh, from an inside out perspective, right? We are what we what we eat and it should like i said we're about 60 percent water so that's more than anything else in our lives we should be consuming so the 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 uh, phrase is more accurately we are what we drink so definitely watch your hydration keep up with your water flow my next tip <laughs> i love how these flow i got a good flow going here my next tip is uh nutrition again i mentioned you are what you eat so if you're uh, fueling your body with the vitamins, minerals, nutrients that it needs on a daily basis, then it's definitely going to work the way that you want it to. If you're fueling it with junk and garbage or not eating, right, skipping meals, then you're not doing your body any favors and in turn, it's not going to do you any favors. So it's going to um, bring about, you know, stuff that you don't want to be a part of, um, uh, nasty looking skin, uh, tired, cranky, grogginess, not sleeping right, uh, stressfulness, overwhelm, all sorts of stuff comes with bad nutrition because this is one of those things where I mentioned before, when you, when you're eating well, you tend to feel good. And when you feel good, you tend to look good. And when you look good, sorry, when you, when you eat well, you tend to look good. And when you look good, you tend to feel good. And when you feel good, you keep wanting to make good decisions because you're liking the way that it's going in your life, right? So keep that in mind, proper nutrition, um, you know, especially three meals a day, right off the bat, you want to start with three meals a day. Um, up a lot of times <clears throat> what I what I have to tell people is that they need to up their their calorie intake uh, a lot of people think that in order to lose weight you need to eat less when in actuality for the most part you need to eat more because a lot of people aren't eating enough to begin with you're skipping breakfast right or maybe you're having dinner too late that your body's not having a chance to digest and process the food before you go to bed so these are all things that you need to take into consideration. And then especially in between meals, snacking is a huge thing, but nobody ever thinks about that, right? When you're thinking about losing weight or being healthy, all that stuff, think about eating less, consuming less. When in actuality, a lot of times you have to consume more, but not just more, you need to consume the right kind of more, right? Vitamins, minerals that are gonna help fuel your body and push you to more towards greatness. And then my last tip more than anything is essential oils. I love using essential oils for everything and this is no different. Uh, tea tree, 
is actually a really great oil for this type of thing. Um, I like the story behind tea tree. It actually comes from the, the swampy area of Australia. So if you think about the tea tree plant, right, it comes from, from dirty, mossy, swampy areas where it needs to be fighting off bacteria at all times. So that's definitely, think about the, the, the immune system of the plant is similar to the immune system of, of humans. So that's what the tea tree is doing for you. It's fighting off all that bacteria. Uh, another great oil is frankincense. Frankincense is the king of oils. It actually promotes uh, the appearance of healthy looking skin. So pff, right, right away, we're talking about unhealthy looking skin. Frankincense will help promote the, uh, the healthy lookingness. And then uh, this is actually one product from doTERRA that I love more than anything. It's called Correct X. Um, if this is similar to, uh, um, I can't even think of what I'm, what I'm trying to say, but you'd put it underneath a bandaid. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Um, this one comes with oils, uh, what frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, melaleuca, and lavender. So this is actually really great. Apply a small amount into affected area as needed. I love using this. This one's actually, I like using this one for dry crack skin, but you can definitely use it on the face. Um, I actually, I like that one for uh, chapped lips also too. Sorry, uh, dry lips. That's what I meant to say. Uh, that's all I got for you for today. Tips for helping with skin and face blemishes. Don't touch your face too much because of your hands. Your hands are probably the dirtiest part of your body. So keep that in mind next time you're going to touch your face as I'm touching my face. Uh, tip number two, wash your face regularly, uh, one, two times a day at least, and definitely use specialized facial cleansers. Three, manage stress. Stress is going to manifest itself in every aspect of your life, so you definitely want to take that into consideration. Hydration, we are but roughly 60% water, so keep that in mind. Um, you definitely want to be drinking water more than anything else in your, in that, in your day. Number five, nutrition. We are what we eat. Keep that in mind. Uh, food is health. Food is nutrition, and uh, it will definitely help you to look and feel better. My last tip, number six, essential oils. They help with everything. I love them. Thank you so much for joining me. That's all I got for you for today. Um, if you, I hope you found some value in this. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about or how to get some free products from doTERRA, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I look very forward to talking to you again. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. I love you guys. <laughs> Again, bye for now.